Okay, in this video we're going to look at expressing one quantity as a percentage of another. So here we've got a typical question. Four people out of a class of 50 are left-handed. What percentage of the class are left-handed? So first of all, I want to write this as a fraction. Four out of 50 are left-handed. So four out of 50, four fiftieths are left-handed. Now I want to write it as a percentage. Now percentages mean out of 100. So I want to make this 100 on the bottom line. So remember from equivalent fractions, you can times both the top and the bottom by a number, uh, the same number, and it'll be an equivalent fraction. So if I multiply them both by 2, I'm choosing 2 because I want to make this 100 on the bottom, it'll be an equivalent fraction. So 50 times 2 is 100, and 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 out of 50 is the same as 8 out of 100, or 4 fiftieths is the same as 8 hundredths. I want it as a percent. What percentage of the class are left-handed? 8% are left-handed because it's 8 out of 100. So 8% of the class are left-handed. Let's look at another question. Okay, here's another question. Well, it's actually a TV advert I've just seen. It says, four out, of five, 4 out of 5 vehicles are fixed by the roadside. What is this as a percentage? So, 4 out of 5. Well, 4 fifths of vehicles are fixed by the roadside. So we want to write 4 fifths as a percentage. If you know 4 fifths is a percentage by looking at fractions, decimals and percentages or equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages, then you can just write this straight away. Um, otherwise, let's uh, convert it. So we want it as a percentage. Remember, percent, we want 100 on the bottom line. So to get uh, 4 fifths, we want to get to 5 to become 100. So we would multiply 5 by 20 to make it 100 because 5 times 20 is 100. So we need to multiply the top of the fraction by 20 as well. So 20 times 4 is 80. So this would be 80 out of 100, so that would be 80%. Okay, we're now going to look at um, a question where you're going to have to use your calculator. So we're going to write it as a percentage, and someone's done a test, and they've got 17 out of 32. Now, the, the numbers I've chosen before were nice and easy because I chose 50, which is a factor of 100. We just doubled the fraction to get it out of 100. And the other one was 4 out of 5. Well, again, 5 is a factor of 100. That's nice and easy. But this isn't going to work as nicely because if you times 32 by 3, you get 96. But you can't times it by a nice whole number to get 100. So let's use our calculator. So let's first of all write it as a fraction. 17 out of 32. That's 17 out of 32. So we've got a fraction, I want to change our fraction into a percentage. We're going to use a calculator to do this. So, remember in the fraction the line means divide, so we're going to do 17 divided by 32. So if we do 17 divided by 32, we get 0 0.5, 0 0.53125. So that as a decimal is 0. 5, 3, 1, 2, 5. But we want it as a percentage, so we want to change our decimal to a percentage. To that, you times by 100. So we're just going to times by 100, and we get 53.125%. So this is 53.125%. This is sort of how you would change your test scores to percentages. You divide the top number of, the fr of your fraction by the bottom one, you get your decimal, and you times it by 100.